After every eruption in the Swartzengi volcanic system of the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland, we have a quiet period. Then the clusters of the earthquakes start in the specific locations. They're grouped into that locations. In this one, you can see that this is today. You can see that this cluster is located in the Swartzengi area where we had the previous eruptions. Uh, before this, just two days ago, we had a, a cluster to the east side of it, related to the different volcanic system. That's the Krisovic volcanic system. And when that happened, uh, uh, I was expecting any moment when this is over, we will have movements toward the west, toward the Sorsengi. This movement was in the Krisovic system. Uh, the rift is created and the lake which is filled with water by that and then ripping a part of the land continues in that area and the Swartzengi volcanic system with the uh, arrow starts. This is the boundary where the uh, pulling a part of the Eurasian Americas is happening right now and this continuing all around the you know, Atlantic Ocean we have in the mid-oceanic ridge due to this. This is because of the, within the earth mantle, we have these convection cells uh, splitting the, practically the oceanic crust, creating uh, uh, extension. And through this extension, the earth mantle rises, is solid at the moment, then melts, and then becomes, uh, forms magma. And the magma, we pick it up through our boreholes when it arrives because it releases the sulfur dioxide. And we can see when it's coming, when it's arriving also by the earthquakes. And this is what happens. And at the moment, I'm looking at exactly at the same location. The center of the eruption is at the center of this image. You can see it here. And this is where we expect the next eruption to happen within the next two, three weeks, uh, probably late July or early August. We'll look and wait for that.